the light means burning low. Oh, you know, we're about to see some great Super Bowl commercials on Sunday from tugging at our heartstrings to star power, even a woman quitting her job on television. Companies are pulling out all the stops for these $4 million ads. And this morning, we are helping you watch them all and break them down, internalize them like a pro. We've got Tom Ortega here from Reister Advertising Agency. Welcome, Tom. You know, we watch the ads each and every year. We anticipate them for the Super Bowl. This year, there's some interesting ads to look out for. The first one that we've kind of seen a preview of is Axe deodorant spray. Yeah, I like it a lot. What in the world are we going to see with Axe? Well, they make a statement, and it's a really strong statement. I think it's <laughs> and and it's one that they can own. And uh, we can see it right here. It yeah. looks intense. Well, it starts off that way, and what's great about it is it really, it does a misdirect. So you think it's going to be one thing, and then at the end, it's something totally different, which is a classic advertising move, but they really make a strong statement. Axe usually jokes around about things, too. This is not really joking. They're, they're kind of being serious, right? They World are. World peace they are. type of message. They are, and it ends with a beautiful message. Um, and again, it's important for brands to make a statement that they can own and no one else can, and here they've done it. You know, this one looks like high budget. If you want to go the other end, low budget, Doritos, for the past couple of years, they've kind of extended that to all of the viewing audience, Doritos fans, sure. and said, hey, make us some ads and see what you can do with, with your talent and your creativity. What is Doritos going to show us? Uh, they have this, well, they're going to show us a few, but the one that I selected was the <laughs> finger cleaning spot. Uh, I really like this spot. It definitely goes into the disturbing range, but it, it seems to work for the target market. They're, a, they're aiming at people, young people, 18 to 24 probably, yeah. and uh, they pull it off. It's funny. We've got another Doritos ad, of course, made by folks here in the Valley, so we're, uh, we, hopefully we'll get to see some of that as well. Uh, the third one that you've chosen for us to watch, Volkswagen Wings. What are we seeing with Volkswagen? Oh, my gosh. A str strategically dead on in terms of getting the message across about these cars last forever, and they do it in a way that's so thoroughly engaging and just fun to watch uh, all the way through. It's, all, it's just perfectly executed. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. And that one's not that one's not cheap either. This this took a lot yeah. to make this commercial. We saw a little behind the scenes video of it yesterday at the office and uh, quite extensive production. Well, I've got to ask you about that. It seems like it used to be you would anticipate the Super Bowl ads and finally when they would arrive you would say, oh, there are the ads. Well, now I we get them in advance. Does that take away from some of the punch? I think it does, but it also it, it gives the commercials longer shelf life. So you don't want to spend millions of dollars and have your commercial just run once, right? Yeah. So now these things have a longer play. They live online for a long, long period of time. And so these commercials, you know, yeah, they're paying for the TV time, but they get all this extra time as well. Well, how do we watch them like a pro? How do we watch them like an ad executive? How should we uh, internalize these ads? At the office, we often say, you know, did it make you... Did it make the audience like us? Okay. Right? And I think if it does that, then it's achieved something. And truly, the audience is a better expert at this than, than we are in many ways. Right. If they respond well to it, if it hits them somewhere and it stays with them and they enjoy the, enjoy the commercial and they feel good about the product in the end, then it succeeded. All right. Tom Ortega with Reister. That's it. Then it's the heart and it's the gut. If it makes you like the product, they've done their job. Love.